And happy side chick day. This is the day all of you evangelists, you uh, deaconess and you side chicks of the pastor, y'all get y'all gift today. It's 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 oh, it's a marvelous day in the neighborhood. Good afternoon to you. I'm the most controversial gal on TV, and I guess now even on Facebook, I'm the one and only. I'm Thaddeus Matthews. In my office here at the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries, trying to come up with an idea of what um, I'm going to be talking about tonight on the Thaddeus Matthew Show. <clears throat> and, 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 and I think I've got an idea. I think I've, I've got an idea of where I want to go. And I've been considering some things, and I was talking um uh, with my executive administrative assistant, uh, Delphine, about some issues even here in the city of Memphis. And then I was thinking about how black leadership, both in the pulpit and in uh, politics, ain't doing a damn thing for uh, the people. So I I'm thinking tonight that my title is going to be Black leadership ain't worth a damn. Now, those of you who are watching me in various parts of the country, maybe you got better black leadership than we do here in the state of Tennessee and in the city of Memphis. But black leadership as a whole here in this city ain't worth a damn. Whether it's in the pulpit or whether it's um, in politicians. I'm, I'm very concerned. I've, I've been dealing with the Lorenzen Wright murder by his wife, Shara, and another man by the name of Betty Ray Turner, and there should be uh, some new events on that coming up this week. But I'm, I'm very concerned also very concerned also about another killing that we've had in the city of Memphis. Now these Negroes in this city are all up in arms about some damn dead white folk on a statue, Nathan Bedford Forrest and uh, that other white man. Negroes concerned about dead white folk who've been in the park for over a hundred years. Is that all you Negroes got to be upset about? You worried about dead white folk and not giving a damn about live black folk. Damn. Negroes all out in the streets in a, in, in a political setup here in the city of Memphis. Uh, I, I, that's what it was. It, it was a political setup here in the city um, by a little young girl, Tammy Sawyer, who uh, runs a little organization here called Black Lives Matter. Ain't worth a damn. Black Lives Matter ain't worth a damn, especially here in the city of Memphis, where we've had what this year looked like it's going to be a record year of homicides. Uh, in this city, you, you know, Negroes get upset about white folk killing us, but damn, what we gonna do about us killing us? Not a damn thing. Our, our black leadership, not a damn thing. Our, our, our black preachers, not a damn thing. But tell you, by and by, when the morning come, get down on your knees and pray, and you ain't getting up off your ass and ain't doing a damn thing about the changes that need to be made in this country and in this city. Damn these black ass politicians and these black ass bishops, apostles, elders, these denominations, because when we get past trying to go to heaven and let's get saved and go to heaven, we're not saving lives down here. But let me let me tell you what I'm I'm really concerned about is a young girl that was killed here in Memphis, probably what seven, eight months ago, two years old two years old, shot to death. Mm. Shot to death. 
to death. Her mother is the manager of a business on a shop, at, in a shopping center, and these young Negroes, these these thugs, these hoodlums, these wannabe gangsters, out on the parking lot in their car. Yes, you can join my church, Dolly. All you got to do is go to uh, nakedtruthlem.com. There's a membership uh, list on the membership application on there. You can be like uh, this list I've got of over 75. Last week, over 75 persons nationwide joined the Fellowship of the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. But let me go back to what I'm saying. Two-year-old shot. I think the mother and the young boys had some words on the lot. She leaves the lot going home. These young hoodlums follow her, start shooting at the car, and take the life of a two-year-old child. For about a week, it was it was a lot of news. It, uh, maybe two weeks. I'll give it two weeks. It was it was in the news, and uh, black leadership was acting as though they gave a damn. They didn't. See, we as a race of people, we with that bullshit. We with that bullshit of saying, as long as it does not affect me, then I am concerned. See, this, this was not a political year. So the black politician in this city did not care. Now, if it was an election year, then the black politicians in this city, that is over 80% African American in this city, not even talking about the county, but in the city of Memphis, we're over 80% black. And black folk don't give a damn enough to do nothing to save their own selves. You want to wait on the white man. What the white man going to do for you? Well, damn, the white man ain't never did a damn thing for you. So why are you expecting all of a sudden that the white man loves you? Many of you Negroes across the country, you think that the white man loves you, that uh, he's changed his methods, his, his heart has been trained to not give, not to treat you like he used to get. That white man don't give a damn about you. That's the reason y'all struggling on these white folks' jobs and you can't make it. That white man only cares about one thing and that's the profit that you can bring him. That's all he cares about. That's, that's all we want to do is depend on the white man to, to bring us our happiness. You as long as you getting that E B and T card, you you getting you some section eight, your ass won't even get up in the morning and go on a damn job. In fact, when you pick up the Bible, you won't even read the book of Job because it's spelled J O B. Or oh, oh, that's the book of Job. We we ain't gonna look at that. But I'm concerned about this child. Let me go back to this child. I have dealt with this Lorenzen Wright murder, and I've dealt with it probably like unlike any media in this town. And I will continue dealing with this as this case progresses. But there's somebody here in the city of Memphis who know who these low-down, dirty dogs are that killed this two-year-old child. Why hasn't the Black Lives Movement with your nothing ass did something to excite this community into doing what you're supposed to do. Your ass going to go down and tear down the damn statue. Let me, what for? Let the white folk have their history. If white folk can sidetrack your stupid asses from the big picture, what you think they're going to do? You all be talking about economic empowerment, what we can do to build up our communities, bringing some industry into our community. And you stupid mother, mm, 
Y'all worried about the damn statue of the dead white man that's been in the damn park for over a hundred years. Well, damn. How damn stupid can you be? That's all, that's all you care about is a mother statue of some dead white folk. And black folk are dying each and every day. That's the reason tonight I'm on, I'm, I, I got to do it. Black leadership in this country ain't worth a damn. There is only one black leader that I have any respect for in this country. Only one. Ain't but one black man that I respect as a leader in this country country. And that's the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Mm. Mm. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is the only man that I have respect and reference from. I have flown across this country on various occasions to just be in the presence of the minister. Wisdom. And, and let me tell you about you stupid Negroes. You stupid Negroes, when you think of the nation, you 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 want old oh, see that's them bean pie and paper selling niggas. Well, let me let me let me let me give you some. Doris Sweeper Taylor Mitchell, glad to have you here on on Sunday. Let me tell you Negro something so you be informed. The nation of Islam, when you see those guys on the corner selling the paper and every chance I get, I buy one. If it's the fruit, if it's the pie, I do that. Because I believe in supporting black business. But let, let me tell you about what the nation does. Each one of those guys that you see on the corner is an independent businessman. Those individuals, those guys, they buy the paper from the nation at a wholesale price and come out and they sell it on the streets to make a profit. And you, 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 you traditional church-minded damn fools, when are you going to understand what the nation is doing? I've seen the Honorable Minister fill up auditoriums with black men because the black church ain't saying what black men need to hear them say. God damn it, I'm tired of hearing about let us die and go to heaven. Oh, it's going to be all right over heaven. It's a better place. Ain't nobody came back and told you it's no damn better place. When are we going to teach our folk how to live down here, the abundant life? Judge, good to see you on here too, sir. When are we going to tell our people that? So you quit laughing at Donald Reed is cussing, not cursing. I ain't cursing. I ain't, I ain't placed no curse on you. But I do cuss. Because the situations that are going on in our community are cussable. When, when I see the ignorance of black folk, that's cussable. When I see y'all talking about the nation and them guys selling papers and you ain't got no damn job, damn, that's, that's cussable. When you think that the only thing that you're supposed to get is a damn EBT card, you think that the government's going to take care of your, your ass because you had 29 and a half babies, well, damn, that's cussable. But the black leadership, the black leadership in this city, in this country, is not doing anything for us as a people. We keep on electing folk that ain't got no power and have no love. We got a Negro here in Memphis running uh, 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 for sheriff, Benny Cobb. Benny Cobb, well, damn. Benny Cobb, this is your fourth time running for sheriff. Fourth time, you you damn you one of them career wanna be sheriff Negroes. You done lost three times. What the hell you gonna say different now? 
that make us want to elect you. Not a damn thing. And we already got a black man that's running the sheriff's office. Now, he's not the elected sheriff. The elected sheriff got cancer. Oh, maybe I wasn't so tell that. But well, he got it. He has not been really functioning in the last two years. But Floyd Bonner has been running the day-to-day -day operations. So we got this Negro that, even, that either he just got ambitions of grandeur or the white folks done planted him to run and split the vote. You, you, you do know they'll do that. So you think you want to be sheriff. See, what we've got to understand in this country with black leadership, many of these Negroes are only there to serve their own purposes. When I go back and I look at the death of this two-year-old child, Layla Washington, when I go back and look at that situation, why is it that we have not caught them young thugs that took this child's life. Now, damn it, we know they pull and broke some wannabe drug boys probably. They're still here in the city of Memphis. Still here in the city of Memphis. But y'all come up with that thing, uh, let's not snitch. Damn it, snitch. Until we as a people, at we as a people, start to dealing with truth and reality, then we've got a problem. We've got a problem. Thank you, Ms. Copes, for joining with us in the ministry. Rhonda Copes out of Lofton, Texas. Uh-huh. I, I, I'm tired of it. So just like I worked and still working on the Lorenzen Wright situation. I'm going to start pushing on my show that it's time to find the killers of this two-year-old bear. This baby. This baby. Two years old. They'll cut this heat down in my office a little bit. This baby, two years old, killed by some wannabe thugs. They ain't tough. These young Negroes are only tough when they got a gun in their hand. We have not dealt with this. We got a black police director. Director, we got to do something, man. A majority black city council, a majority uh, black county uh, officials, commission. It's time to do something about it. Jamita Swergeon, I see you coming on, city council person. You Negroes are excited last week about Statue in the Park. She's on here. She's a city council person. I think that was the biggest waste of damn time and the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. You Negroes sitting on the council. Y'all worried about symbols of slavery. You, you worried about what the symbols of slavery are. Then this here, Ben Franklin, he had him some slaves. Who else I got in my pocket? I got a bunch of them. Uh, who is this guy here? Andrew Jackson. This is a symbol of slavery. So if you want to get rid of one symbol of slavery, get rid of them all. Y'all concocted a deal. 
you 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 had a conflict of interest. You let a black politician on the county. Y'all cut a deal with a black politician. Damn, y'all, huh? Y'all sold pogs that were worth hundreds of thousands of dollars for a thousand dollars. Damn, I'd have bought about five or six of them if y'all had to pull them up for sale. If you had to let the public do it, I'd have bought some pogs. I'd have bought some pogs where the children would be able to play. But you Negroes, because y'all want to be elected next year, you Negro played the, played the political game with the white male. The white male who may have a problem running the next time, the white male comes and he says, I'm going to join in with you good Negroes and we're going to take down these statues. Come on. We're going to take down... The white man joined in with you in taking down the white folks' statue. You know it's some bullshit in that. But he knows that the Negro becomes beholden to that white man. He becomes beholden. So when he runs in 2019, remember me, I'm the white man that stood up and got the symbols of slavery out. If you want to get rid of the, the symbols of slavery, change your damn mindset. You city council people, how come you ain't brought no damn industry into the black neighborhoods? I, I hear you Negroes always talking about you voting with your colleagues. You vote in your conscience. Damn it, we don't elect you to vote your damn conscience. You're supposed to work at the will of the people, your constituents. Damn what you think. Damn who you are. And the reason that black folk cannot rise in this city and in other cities is because you handkerchief head Negroes that the white folk already control. They control your ass. So th those are the ones that contribute to you. So you scared to buck that white boy. You scared to buck that white woman because that's your master. And the people that you serve, you don't give a damn about. But we all be tired of it in this country. You all be tired of it in, in, in your cities. See, white folk will say, and I see the statement here, that what you're saying is prejudice. No, it's the truth. It's the real deal of what's going on in this country. See, the greatest mistake that somebody and some folk made was open the doors where millions of people now know who I am. See, what y'all meant for bad, whoever put it up there, for over 10 million folk in the last week now know who Thaddeus Matthews is, the Thaddeus Matthews Show. They now know what Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministry is all about. I got a list of where 75 people last week joined the ministry online, and many have already contributed to the ministry that I don't get no salary on. I ain't got no damn annual days. I ain't got none of that. I'm in my office today because we're trying to put programs together to help folk in our community. 75 of you. 11 joined Sunday that was here. That's 86 folk in one week. 86, and I invite you now. If you are in Oliver Church, you are not in the, the uh, thing of going into the building, then join in with real truth and real ministry. All you got to do is go to Naked Truth L E M. Naked Truth L E M dot com. You can join right now. There is a membership uh, link on there. Just fill out the entire uh, application, and that's it. You can't stand truth. But I ain't weak. I ain't no punk. I ain't no weakling. I'm from the streets. You can't 
tell folk that there is a better place in their mindset unless your mind has been there. All, 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 you, all you Negroes want to say, here be bread for you when you're hungry, and you ain't never had a hungry day. You ain't got no testimony. That's a liar money. That's one of them liar monies that you've heard somebody say. Oh, he'll be bringing peace in the storm, and you ain't never been in the storm. Come on. It's time for us to stop lying to the people. It's time for people that want some truth. Yes, I cuss. I got some flaws. I'm not a finished product. I can tell you that. I can tell you that, the, but I love God. I love his son, Jesus. I believe in the universal God. Not some of this bullshit that's coming across pulpits on Sunday morning. Not this running, jumping, and falling out, and that's all you get is an emotional high. You go into churches and tell you, uh, 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 he'll be bread for you when you're hungry. God will make it. He'll fix it. But what are we as a people in these churches that's doing over $400 million a Sunday across this country? What are we doing for the people? Y'all got these Negroes that call themselves bishops, these damn apostles, all these other damn folk with these damn titles, but they ain't doing for the folk with the title that's called least of these, those who are hungry, those who are outdoors, those who don't have a place to live, what the hell are you doing? Not a damn thing. I done did enough. I think I said enough. I'm not going to let politicians off the hook. You want to be leaders. You come to the black community. And you know, I tell these black politicians, they get mad at me. Because, see, I told them, I got the most watched television show in the Memphis market. That I spend $6,000 of my money every month to do. I don't work for nobody. I ain't nobody's slave. I spend my money to do what I do. By selling advertising on the Thaddeus Matthews show. But the black politician don't want to advertise most of the time with me. Because you say, I'm too hard. Or you don't want to pay my price. You'll pay that white boy. You'll go to the white media stations. Mr. White Man, how much money do you want from me today? Yeah. You, you, you'll pay the white boy, but you want to come to me and want me to have the problems and fall for the table. You a damn lie. The devil is a lie. Fuck you and the goat you rode in on. Hell no. You're going to pay me. That's business. That is business. Truth and fiction. Aramadu, whatever your name is, what's the truth and the fiction? Whatever, see, they 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 watch you. Baby, well, see, here's what you better understand about marketing, and I'm a master of it. Y'all put me out here before millions of folk. I was sitting here wasn't bothering nobody. And y'all put me out all across the country. So now, uh, see, they watching you cause you curse. Okay, I don't care. I don't care what brings you in. D'Andrew Wilson, are you talking about me? Huh? I don't care why you come. When y'all watch them white folk on TV, they don't care how you come. See, I, I'm going to be real with you. I know you ain't used to real. Your, your pastor don't talk like I talk publicly. And I, and I don't cuss across the pulpit. But I'm in my office. Okay. A, a little damn, might, a little hell might run, slip out on a Sunday morning. But I'm going to be real, baby. And if you don't want real, why are you on this page? Why you got your ignorant ass on this page? Okay. Why you, why? See, if you don't, you already know, you, you, you know now. Y'all put me out there. Millions, 10 million folk. Woo! I could have paid for that kind of marketing. Just off of cussing. 
the method. You don't know how God going to open the door. Don't get mad. This ain't nothing new for those who already knew me and those who been watching me all the time. I don't give a damn why you come to the, to the meeting. Just come. Because if you stay long enough, I ain't got no two masters. I don't have a master at all. You Negroes that got to go to somebody's job and punch a clock. You got a master, baby. And some of y'all got two masters because you got to take two jobs to do what you should do if you use your mind and have one. If you became that entrepreneur or that entrepreneur, if you would use the gifts that God has given you, the, the word says, and your gift will make room for you. There is no Negro in the country who has went as viral as I've went in the last week. But see, we had already predicted that 2018 was going to be the year of the boom, that God was going to work in a mighty way. And see, God don't just work the way you good church-ass Negroes think he worked. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He said he'll give you pastors. Not you. Because your pastor ain't doing nothing but hooping and hollering and running and jumping, taking up an offering and going on back to the house. And you got to go out there and get, get on the bus. Mm -mm. God is tired of your mess because it's church folk that's got the world in the shape it's in. It's church folk that's got your community in the way it's going. Why you say that? Well, if I go to Second Chronicles, the, the, the word says that if my people who are called by my name, that sounds like they'll all be some church folk, if they would humble themselves church folk, and pray and turn from their wicked ways. See, it's a wickedness in the church. What, what did it say again, Thaddeus? If my people mm, who are called by my name will humble themselves, humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, there is no period there. There's a comma. Something else coming. Then will I hear from heaven and heal the land. Mm. Mm. What, what, what is this? You, for certain, is not a pastor that the Lord has given according to Jeremiah 3.15 because you're not... Oh, Dale, I'm not... Come here. Dale. Coming. I knocked over on the floor. I'm not know why I'm trying to read the damn thing no damn way. I'm trying to read. It ain't standing up. Stand it up. Now I got excited trying to read what somebody's saying about me. And knock the thing on the floor. Yeah. See, all of you that want to give your advice on how I should be, how the fuck are you? What are you doing? What are you doing in your community? What I do in this community speaks for itself. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about what I do in this community. What I do is a known fact. If my people who are called by my name, Christians, church folk, believers, Baptists, Methodists, Church of God in Christ, if my people who are called by my name if they will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I'll heal the land. See, some of y'all don't even know what cursing is versus cussing. 
Jesus was a name caller. Oh, Lord. Carol Williams, if you don't like what's happening, bye, baby. Okay? Jesus was a name caller. Don't say that about Jesus. Jesus. And he never told you to be no Christian in the first place. Huh? He never told you to be no Christian. Jesus called the Pharisees a broad of vipers. In that day, that was cussing. Jesus called you hypocrites. He 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 called you dogs. In, 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 in the Bible. If you read the word, you can find that Jesus could be harsh sometimes. And, and, and in dealing with the issues that we have to deal with, you sometimes, you got to be a little harsh. You, 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 you can't also... You, 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 you can't always treat every situation nice. I told the folks Sunday, this pastor, the cussing preacher, has been called on more than one time to go into the crack houses, go where the drug dealers are, and bring some folk out. Last year, you're right, Jesus was not a Christian. Last year, when I went up in a drug house, Lady called me. Come get this phone. Come get this phone. Okay, well, take that one out of here. And you don't have to answer it, just take it on out of here. I went up in the crack. The lady called me. Go get my daughter. She strung out. She got a debt. And they sell her out of the crack house. Go get my daughter. I went to the crack house. I went in my truck. That's my marquee that has the Thaddeus Matthew showing. I drove down into the hood where the drug dealers are. Demetrius West, thanks your business. Listen to what I'm talking about. I, I went down there. Country K, they don't invite me to their churches. My friends who are preachers, they uh, they sh you know they act like they're my friends, but they shame to bring me up because the other guys gonna talk about them. I went to the drug house. When I went to the the drug boards was out there. They respect me because I I deal with the gangs here, with the Crips, the gangsters, the cycles, the Bloods, and. In fact, we just came from a picnic where they were all there together. Didn't nobody shoot nobody. When I went to the house to get this girl out, me, the preacher, the cousin preacher, I couldn't walk up there and say, will you please let so-and-so go? You, you don't go in the hood like no punk. I said, hey, man, what the fuck going on, man? Why you got that girl up in there? Man, she working it off, man. Then they do all them things with the fingers and stuff. She working, she working it off. I said, she working it off? She, she owed me, man. I said, hey, man, uh, that... We can't do that. 
we got to bring that sister out there. Minister Anthony Muhammad, glad to see you on here, man. We got to have that girl back, man. Her mama won't. Man, I ain't giving up a motherfucking thing. I said, hey, brother, fuck you in that dumb shit. I said, you know who I am, right? Right. I said, you know the influence I have, right? I said, now, I got the police director's number on here. Man, I don't give a damn about you doing your business. That's your business. But let that sister up at that house, man. I don't want to call nobody and have you have no you have no issues. I don't give a damn if these idiots you selling right around here, they dumb enough to buy this from you. Then fine. I ain't I ain't, I ain't trying to hurt your business. But a mother called me and I got to I got to bring this daughter back, man. I got to bring her back. I said, look, brother, how much more she owe you? $100, man. She got about $100 debt left. I said, okay, bro. You a businessman. I'm a businessman. Now, let's fuck that, that bullshit, okay? I know your boys out here. And I, and I know that you can't look like no punk. So here's what I'm going to do. I took one of these out of my pocket. I said, look, let me pay her debt, brother. Let me pay her debt. But you got to let her go. You got to let her go. I didn't go strapped. I went talking to men on the level that they dealt on. I couldn't go down being sweet. I had to be that motherfucker that's on the TV that some tremble at my name. Because they know I'm going to get in their ass and I don't give a damn who they are. I bust them out and expose them on the TV. So what I'm saying to you, my brothers and sisters, is this. If it's pathetic, baby, I t leave the page. See, y'all used to these preachers that's going to lie to you and bullshit you. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I got to tell you straight. Silas, I don't need my strap. Because I don't have a fear of my people. Security is in place when I needed to be. But when I walked down there to deal with these brothers who knew what I who I am and they know what I represent. They know the buttons I push. See, there's respect for me among the gang members. Because I'm the one that'll go to their meetings. I'm the one that'll make a phone call to a bonding company. Huh? Yeah. Let, let, me, let me share something with you. I don't have to lie, baby. I don't work for nobody but me. And I don't give a damn what folks say. If you ain't feeding me, financing me, or fucking me, I don't care about what you say. It's about the realness that got to take place in our streets. See, I told you that I only respect one leader in this country. Jesse Jackson went by the damn, Ralph Abernathy and all them boys. Al Sharpton. The only man, again, I'll say it. I respect the most honorable minister, Louis Farrakhan. See, if I call the FOI, they come. And the nation knows they need me 
they got me. I stand with the minister. I stand with the nation. It ain't about philosophies. It ain't about religion. It's about us as a people waking up and doing the right thing. I go to the drug houses and I go and deal with the gang members because the church has refused with your holier than thou selves to accept the drug deal. You 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 won't accept the hole in the corner. You don't want to accept the girl with the party dress on that stayed out all night long, but there's something that's burning on the inside of her, and she she just needs uh, uh she needs to have a little talk with some folks that love her that can show her some compassion. Let me tell you something. No, I'm not a Freemason. Let me let me share something with you. There is nobody that is going to save us but us. Okay. Kevin, okay, well, I don't know whose church you're talking about. You ain't talking about this one because we gave away plenty of toys on Sunday morning. So, those of you that don't like me, I, I, you know, you, you want to argue and be a distraction on page, why y'all come? You lost your power. When you opened up the door to me to 10 million folk and thought you were going to get a laugh, the laugh turned into a blessing. So you're not liking me again. What was the three L's? If you ain't feeding me, financing me, or fucking me, I don't give a damn about what you think. I'm real. So, what I say to you is, tonight, join me on the realest TV talk show in the country. The Thaddeus Matthew Show. Mm. Join me. Join me. 7 o'clock Central Time. 7 to 9 Central. Uh, right here on this page. And if ever they put me in Facebook jail, that's subject to happen. Because I ain't going to back away from the truth because it upsets somebody. You can always find me at the church page. Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries. So... Those of you that want some realness and want to be a part of this ministry, again, all you got to do is go to Naked Truth, L E M. Naked Truth, L M L E M. I curse because I don't curse, I cuss. But I don't curse. I played no curse on you. I haven't did like some of you Christians I've seen that's been trying to talk about me. I hope you have a heart attack. I hope you fall down and die. Your heart stop beating. I said, well, damn, church folk. That's cursing. Who made a word a derogatory word? Okay. All right. Hmm. It's time out in the black church and in the black community for the black lives. 
Two million tonight, seven o'clock central time. I'm gonna be talking on this subject and I'm gonna be talking more so about two year old Layla Washington. Two year old Layla Washington. The church where the sinners are. You're absolutely right, Jeremiah. See, you meant that. And I'm, I'm going to take time on what you said. The church where the sinners are better be. See, that's what's wrong with you now. We're all sinners saved by grace. When I walk in here on Sunday morning, I ask, are there any perfect people here today? Because I'm going to invite you, if you're perfect, to leave. Because the rest of us as sinners, we need to have a discussion. Why would I want to conference anybody in on my page, Demetrius? Why? What, what do I need you for? All right. And again, I, I invite those of you that don't like me. You couldn't, but you couldn't help yourself, could you? You couldn't help yourself coming to the page, could you? I'm glad you came, though. Somebody wanted me to conference that man. What the hell would I need to conference you in? Don't you have Facebook Live, your own self? All right. All right. So, let me get back. I ain't had nothing to eat today. Mm. Mm. So I'm just reading some of y'all this stuff as it scrolls up. Just read, look, let me give. I, I got a few more things, a few more phone calls to make. Again, over 10 million people watched that little cut that somebody made, and I'm just here in my office on a different um, subject. And a lady attacked me, and I attacked her back. Don't come for me if you don't want me to come back. So, um, somebody cut that out. A two-hour Facebook Live, and they took that out, and you meant it for bad. But thank you. I'll, you you need a steak or something? Think I'll go get me one. Think I can scratch up on enough to get me a good T-bone uh, before I go on. On there. Right. But look, you won't become a part of what we're doing here. Then, Antonio, very simple. Go to the membership page of Naked Truth, L E M dot com. And uh, there's a membership link. Fill out the complete. Uh, application. How can I get you to investigate my case, child being abused by Maybe you need to get a lawyer. Hire your lawyer. Hire your lawyer. All right. I got to go. Thank you all so much for joining me. Join me on the TV on tonight or join me right here on Facebook Live. Until we meet again on tonight, thank you so much for being a part.